Oh, that's what have you bought here? What is this? <laughs> My muscle pounder. Where are you putting that? No, I want to see the ball thing move up and down. I feel like a dog that's going to like start. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> So it's week five and this is a big week in my building block training regime. And I gotta tell you, this bike is absolutely killing me. Now for those of you who have been watching this series and can understand my Aussie accent, you'll know that I said I was gonna have a week off this week, this vlog series, because a mate's bucks got in the way of the target event, but things have changed, which I'll explain shortly. I'm just gonna pull over and have a little supplement. I'm starting to supplement my training regime now, which I'll share with you, pre-ride coffee, and then I'm gonna get into the session. Many of my subscribers will have seen me drink this before. It's called HVMN Ketone. Not sponsored, I do have an affiliate link though, which also enables you to get a little bit of a discount as well. I trialed this, did a review, wasn't sponsored, enjoyed the drink, and I think there's a couple of reasons why I think it's beneficial. One is it can help with performance gains, how much is up for debate, but for me, as an aging athlete, when I do these heavy sessions like I'm gonna to do today, fatigue is pretty serious, glycogen depletion in the muscle, and this, because it's an additional energy source, or which you're gonna be utilizing as you train heavily, it limits the amount of glycogen depletion and reduces your fatigue and assists in recovery. So that's what I'm gonna be using it for today. Tastes like rocket fuel, I wouldn't have it for every hardcore training session, but definitely in your hard weeks when you're feeling fatigued like I am this morning, I think it's a good thing to supplement in. Doesn't taste so good. So I'm at the Girawin Sporting Complex. This is a purpose-built criterium track here. And I've just finished 10 hill repeats in the big ring, about one to two minute efforts. And now I'm gonna do 50 seconds off 10 seconds on sprinting. I'm gonna use this hill to sprint up. I'm gonna sprint on the flats as well. Just sort of mix it up. I'm not a sprinter, but I think that's why I need to work on it because if I wanna win a bike race, if I'm in a break or whatever the situation might be, often you're gonna to need to have to sprint to some degree. So let's get into it. And then I'm gonna to explain to you why this bike right here is killing me. So I'm just around the corner from home, session complete. I've done less than 50 Ks. Hasn't been a really long session, but high intensity stuff. About 20 minutes in zone five, six, and then a minute and a half in uh, my neuromuscular, anywhere between 800 to 1000 watts. So tough stuff. And I've been doing it on this bike below, which it's bloody heavy. We're gonna go weigh it tomorrow. And I'm gonna explain what impact it's having. So I'm back at the front of Trilogy Cycles. And every time I pull up here, it seems to be a bit of a spot for this series. There's always somebody in a ute or a truck that pulls up next to me, leaves their engine running. I'm not sure if you can hear that. And it looks at me very strangely. But anyway, I'm here because I'm gonna weigh my training bike, which is behind me. And the reason why this bike has been killing me is because it's heavy. There's a lot of resistance going on, particularly with the tires. I published a video a few weeks ago now, the number one training tip for cyclists, and that is putting heavy training wheels and tires on your bike, because no matter how bad your training structure is, if you put on heavy training wheels and tires, you are forced to work harder, and subsequently, you will get stronger. And the thing about my bike behind me here, we'll go through it shortly, is that there's a lot of resistance going on. And when you're doing hill repeats and threshold efforts and all kinds of stuff, it requires you to produce more torque through the pedal stroke, which is essentially more force. And it takes a while for you to get a feel for the rhythm required to keep that bike up to momentum. And it's only been a week and a half, really, since I've been riding on the training bike. And it's always the first week or two weeks where it kills you. But then the thing is, you start getting used to it. And when you start getting used to it, that's when you know you're really starting to get stronger. So I'm on my way, but it's been killing me this week. So let's go into Trilogy Cycles now and weigh this beast. Hey, doggy. <laughs> hey, Jack. Keith, how are you, mate? Good, yourself, mate? Too bad. That's good. Now, now what do you got over here? I can just, I just, my eyes went straight to that. You got two of them now, or is that the 220? That middle one there is the 220. Yeah, 2020 right. Time Machine Road. Right, what's on Over that? Four. Running Altegra Di2. Right. So the one that you test rode had the SRAM ETAP. Yep. And a high spec wheel. Yep. Same frame. Yep. Just with a 
Altegra DI2 group set on it and a, a better price point. A slightly different colour scheme as well, I can see. Slightly it's like different colour, but a lighter red. Lighter red. And white on the BMC logo. Light and BMC, I like it. What's the price? Nine, eight, double nine on that one. Yeah, okay. Nice. Got I've, got a, I've got this piece actually. I'm wondering if you could weigh for me. Is that alright? Sure, mate. <laughs> Gonna be alright with that, you reckon? So we've got Fulcrum 5, the I'm scared of pronouncing the Schwab, Schwabble, Schwab, Schwab, Schwab <laughs> Marathons. Uh, Shimano 105, it's a bit dirty, I need to give it a clean. Um, we've got a GoPro on the front, we've got two full drink bottles I train with, and it's an alloy frame. So it was almost there. What's your guess? Nine and a half? 11.04. Oh, wow. Wow. Is that, is that big? <laughs> Good training bike. Good training bike. <laughs> what are your um, gravel bikes weigh normally? Uh, probably around the 10 as well. 10 as well? Yeah. So 11, over 11 big. Yeah, right. Staff's key to get me a gravel for comparison. All right, here we have a Scott Speedster. What size is that? That's a medium, a 54. Yeah, okay. Granted, it doesn't have the drink button, uh, bottles, cages, computers. True. But. 10.3, pretty much. So oh, no worry. 10.28. So that would be heavier than yours, then, when you add the two drink bottles. With yeah, water, water, yeah, yeah. Computers. Yeah, absolutely. Daddy, am I allowed to use the toilet? Yeah. Yeah. What do you like about the toilet rooms? Could it do the pool? The toilet's near the pool. Bye. <laughs> Should we go in? Hey, please don't yell. Girls, I'm over here now. Other house! It's called delegation. Are you getting any leaves out though, Ruby? Uh -huh. The bug bit you in the other house, and now you're crying about it. That was 10 minutes ago. And then, and <laughs> it really hurt me, look what it did. Oh my gosh, it did nothing to your skin. <laughs> you did, you did, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so while I'm delegating, well, I don't know what's going on now. Week five, apparently, this is a new fad that's taking off. Cleaning pools is really good to improve your bike handling skills, but no, in all seriousness, uh, two houses, we're at my parents' old place here and next door where we just were. Uh, they've, they've had that block of land for a while. They've just built a new house and they're gonna be moving out of this house very shortly. We were just talking, Holly and I, about all the family memories, pretty sad, moving next door. But as a result, my parents are away and I'm the pool man for the next a uh, number of weeks. The last thing that I wanted to mention, the reason why this series is back on track is because literally, I think it was just over a week after I got that email saying that there was a Bucks, a very good friend of mine, same day as the Men's Masters Nationals Road Race, it was probably two or three days ago now, I got another email saying, we can't do that date, there's too many particularly close family members that had other commitments that couldn't attend, so we're pushing it out a week, and as a result, I'm back on for the Men's Masters Nationals and Criterion Road Race, which is very, very exciting. I'll catch you in the next video. She got that six days of Midwest cool. The kind of make a smart.